What's up YouTube, Jay Trevellini, and today I got my 3060, if you guys remember, I got this from Best Buy as part of their drop. I'm gonna get it on my test bench today, mining Ethereum, so I also have my dummy plug here. So this is just a generic HDMI dummy plug, which I got from Amazon, and I'll have it in the link in the description below. Uh, I'm gonna get it mining Ethereum with no limiter, now I do have the driver 470.05 um, along with just an eight pin power cable because that's all I really need for this one. So I had to dig through my boxes, find myself a power cable so I can get it on my test bench. Now I still have a 3070 and my 1070 on it. I plan on leaving them on there because, until I transfer my 3070 down to my rig in my basement, uh, which I'll do probably uh, later on this week. But my 3060 is going to be living on the motherboard. Now remember the restrictions with this. To get this mining Ethereum with no limiter, which I should be able to get 47 to 48 mega hash. My experience with this EVGA model is 47 mega hash a second. Um, I'm probably just going to copy my overclocks that I have on my other one in my 2x3060 PC rig. If you have not seen that video, go check it out on the channel. Um, I built a PC around two 3060s and I have them both mining Ethereum with no limiter. Uh, but the restrictions here are, one, you obviously you need the 3060. Uh, then you need a motherboard with a PCI 3.0 X16 PCIe lane. So it has to be plugged into the motherboard running x8 or faster. So if you do two, you have to make sure your motherboard has both 3.0 and it'll run both of them at x8 or faster then you also have to have your dummy plug plugged in or them plugged into a monitor um i've also heard of adapters working someone using like an hdmi to vga or dvi adapter and that working i don't have proof to confirm that but i have heard of it working but i'm gonna go ahead and get this onto the motherboard and then we'll go inside and i'll show you guys the test bench with it mining ethereum and show you guys it on the test bench uh hope i can get about 47 mega hash uh it's really not doing much good just sitting here in the box it's been in the box on the floor of my office for over a week now so i just want to get it on the bench and mining and generating some revenue so let me go get that put on and we'll check it out all right so i got it on i set my overclocks for it actually had them saved in from when i had my other rig on here now no not so negative 200 seemed to work a little better for me than negative 500 so we'll see i got it at 65 power which is what i had my other one at, at 110 watts so i have it at plus 1000 and i am using t-rex miner so i i got it on the motherboard uh, i have the dummy plug in it as you can see i also have it with the 1070 and 3070 as you can see uh, so it doesn't have an accepted share yet, but it is getting 48 mega hash a second, which is a little bit better than what I was thinking it would get. Uh, we're running 110 watts, so it's doing pretty well. I'm waiting to see once it gets a share, but it's running pretty well. I do use Ethermine. Um, I might switch to two miners. I'm not sure. I've heard of Ethermine. Not as profitable on weekends i don't know what that's all about i've just saw comments about that in my youtube but i haven't noticed anything myself um but you can also look at the efficiency here if you're looking at it um if you're looking at it here i did get one accepted share so there we go so the efficiency on my 3070 is 461 kilohash a second. My 1070 is 214 kilohash a second. And then my 3060 is 438 kilohash a second. So it's pretty good efficiency wise. Now this 3070 is running a little bit higher than it should be actually. Um, my, my overclocks for my 3070 got deleted when I added my 3060 so i gotta re-put that in because this i had running at 120 watts 
So now it's sitting right about where I would think it would, 47.75 mega hash a second. Uh, that's pretty much where I figured the 3060 would sit. Now I'm waiting for the 3070 to come down a little bit. Uh, just with the power, there we go, 120 watts. Uh, that's about where it was sitting before, which brings my efficiency on that up to 490 kilohash a second, which is very good. Now I'll let this run for a little while. I know this was just put on there, but these were the overclock settings I'm using on my other one, uh, specifically the VGA model, uh, EVGA, I mean. Uh, the MSI one, I'm on a little heavier with the overclock, but this seems to hold stable for the EVGA 3060 on my other one. Now this one, it's a different card, silicon liner, you could play a little differently. I may be able to push this one a little bit more. Uh, time will tell, but we're sitting at 50C also. So I'm gonna leave it here for now and let it run pretty much the rest of the day and overnight. And then I'll check on it later on in the day and then tomorrow and see what it's still doing. Uh, I'm not going to go through any profitability on this because one, I've done it before in previous videos and one, I just wanted to get it on the bench and get it mining. That way it's earning some revenue and not pretty much wasting space in my, on my floor. So there you have it. That's my 3060. It's on my bench, my 3070 and 1070. Uh, I just want to give you guys a quick video of me installing it. Some people are still looking on how to get the 3060s to mine Ethereum with no limiter. There's another one that I've done. But also remember, you need that 470.05 driver. You can, I'm sure you can still get it on GitHub or other websites or even Reddit. Um, but I know most places have taken it down because it wasn't an approved driver. It was a test driver, but it just leaked out. Uh, also, you got to have that dummy plug and be on a PCI 3.0 slot running at X16. But as you can see, and I have had this asked in uh, videos previously, they were asking if they could run two GPUs on risers and the 3060 on the motherboard. So, yes, you can do it. Uh, you also have to check your CPU to make sure it can handle that many lanes, but most CPUs can. Uh, they just can't handle like too many GPUs on the ride, on the actual board or else it starts cutting down on performance per GPU as far as how many lanes they're using. But I mean, and from a mining perspective, you really just need an X1 lane for it to mine efficiently. But you know, thanks for checking this video out. I'd like to see how many other people are still using 3060s to mine Ethereum or what other coins maybe you might be mining. Uh, I haven't tested it on Ravencoin or Ethereum Classic yet. Usually Ethereum Classic reacts similar to Ethereum, so I would think I'd get similar um, you know, results. But you know, let me know what you guys are doing in the comments below with your 3060s. Thanks for checking this video out. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more.